Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there in the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Geenan for Syscon TV here at 13th Cloud Expo. Cloud Expo, Silicon Valley. I have with me Bart Copeland, President and CEO of Active State Software, a firm supporter, I think I can say, Absolutely. of Cloud Expo, but much more importantly, an incredibly agile and active business out there in the cloud. Absolutely, very agile, very active. Very agile, yes. and always rather an interesting, uh, you know, bellwether. So where should we start, perhaps, on that? What are you proudest of, since I've last spoke to you, Bart, that really is active state, you know, leading? Well, okay, so first of all, to, be, to tell you what I'm proud of, I've got to tell you, how we're focused in the cloud market, and that's with a product called Staccato. What is Staccato? It's an enterprise private PaaS solution, and what we mean by that is it allows enterprises to manage and deploy their own platform as a service offering. Now, what we're proud of is that we're leading the market technologically with private PaaS. If you look at the feature set, all of our competitors are copying our feature set. So we're quite proud of that. But more importantly, we're also proud of the traction we're getting in the marketplace, we're seeing continuing more and more enterprises adopting Staccato and bringing it into their organization. But it's very fascinating to us how enterprises are adopting our technology. They all start small with a proof of concept. They like it, then they say, let's take a few apps into production. They take a few apps into production, and then they go, wow, this is great. And why is it great? Is because usually it takes weeks or months to deploy apps, and with Staccato, they're deploying apps in minutes, and they go, we got to do this for all our apps, and then they go full-scale production. And so that's some of the stuff that's really driving us at Active State right now. <laughs> and it really is driving you. That's what quad air out demonstrandum. So nothing's changed with that. You've always been saying that. There's always been this amazing traction once people find out about it. That's you. right. But the, the other thing to, uh, to recognize is that we've taken Staccato and we've built it on top of open source. And one of those key open source projects is Cloud Foundry. And Cloud Foundry for us is a very um, fascinating ecosystem. And it's just gotten better with IBM's involvement because IBM earlier this year uh, decided to back Cloud Foundry, which was fantastic because one of the things we are so passionate about ActiveState, every single product at ActiveState is based on open source. And we wanted to see a real thriving open source ecosystem around Cloud Foundry. And we're starting to see that more. And more importantly is that we have built Staccato on top of Cloud Foundry and we're on trunk to Cloud Foundry version two. So Cloud Foundry went through a whole evolution. It's called Cloud Foundry version two. And we have built Staccato it's completely on trunk, which is important to our customers. They want to know that we're on trunk and in line with what's happening in the Cloud Foundry ecosystem and you can continue that it doesn't matter what happens to, but you'll always be in sync with it yes that's that's effectively our mandate but the other aspect is that the question that often get asked is okay so you're in sync with cloud foundry but how are you different so what we do at active state is first of all we package it in a way that's very easy for the enterprise to consume so you can go get raw open source cloudfoundry.org but it won't be packaged in a way that meets the needs of the enterprise. And we take care of that. We also provide full uh, blown 7x24 support. We also have incorporated other co great components of open source, such as Docker technology or containerization technology. That's another very strong open source project out there. So, and, and then the other key thing that's important to our enterprise customers is the whole aspect of security. So large enterprises, they put a, a staccato through very rigorous security requirements. And they pound it and they pound it. And uh, other companies know that and they like that. And, and they also, we adapt to cattle based on the security holes that they possibly find. So it's very important to the enterprise. It's still the thing, many eyes. That really is working in the open source model. Absolutely. No question. No question. What about the future, Bart? Sorry, I'm fading here, but what about the future, which absolutely isn't fading? Like, we've noticed at this particular Cloud Expo, parts of the industry, I want to say they've almost, they're just taking a pause, like taking a not a, not a new look at it, but taking a careful look. Are we absolutely on course for the right part of all of this? You, I think, have a different stance because you chose so well right from the get-go. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely not pausing. We uh, are, when you ask me about the future, first and foremost, our customers dictate our future. So we, every single customer of ours is very active with our product roadmap. They influence our product roadmap. So as far as the future is, we're releasing Staccato 3.0 into the marketplace. It should come out 
literally within weeks. What's great about Staccato 3.0, first and foremost, it's built on top of Cloud Foundry version 2. Uh, the second thing is, I mentioned earlier, we're adopting Docker containerization technology into Staccato. The third area we're doing is we're doing something very interesting is we're bringing social timeline features into Staccato. Almost think of a like a Facebook stream for developers so you can see what's going on with the applications. We did this based on some technology we acquired from a company called AppSecute New Zealand. We acquired them about six months ago and we're integrating that technology into, into Staccato. And the last thing we're doing with, with Staccato 3.0 is really making a robust solution on top of OpenStack and on top of CloudStack. So with CloudStack, they came out with what they call the CPBM. It's a connector, and so we've uh, built uh, our connector, Staccato connector, that works with Cloud Platform, the commercial version of CloudStack, so you can one-click deploy Staccato onto a Cloud Platform environment. And why we care about this is, as I mentioned earlier, we work with any cloud, and so we wanted to really improve the uh, work experience of how we work with OpenStack and CloudStack. We work great with vSphere and other infrastructure, uh, uh, infrastructure as a service environments as well. That's always been your commitment. You really want to, to be able to interface with anything. That's correct, absolutely. You're delivering on it, which is remarkable. Yeah, we are, we're very proud of that. Very proud of it, well, yeah. There you are. If you're not familiar with the whole active state story, where should we start? Just send them to the website? Yes. Go to our website, www.activestate.com, and you can follow the links and learn more about Staccato and all of our other great products. Go and do it, because I need to go and find some hot water or something. Thanks so much, thank you, Bart Copeland, President and CEO of Active State Software, and thank you for putting up with me and uh, following along with him, much more interestingly, and dynamic President and CEO he is out there on the World Wide Web. Thank you.